Hey, what's going on with you? This is BQ. This is the Impact Lounge. If you're a first timer, please hit the subscribe button. The goal is 4,000 subscribers by the Redemption pay per view, but we're not talking Redemption. We're talking about Impact Wrestling Crossroads coming up this week on Pop. And uh, I've been talking about a new match each and every day. And next to Rock is the Knockouts Championship match. Knockouts Champion Laurel Van Ness defending against Ali. Laurel Van Ness, uh, no longer with the company. She's one of two. Wrestlers on this card, I believe, uh, no longer with the company, and uh, hopefully, hopefully this is the write-off. Um, I've enjoyed her character, but we've had this problem with every set of tapings in the last year. We always forced to watch someone who's no longer with the company, and right now, in this set of tapings, we're watching three stars who are no longer with the company. Hopefully, this is where they write Laurel off TV, but I really have absolutely no idea. It's unfortunate that we didn't get this current character a lot earlier in the year. They drag, they drug out the drunken bride thing so long, and it was cool and it was funny. But you know, I had we we had said on the podcast on the Impact review that I don't think they knew where they were going with it at one point. So they kind of kept it going for a long time, and then there was the comedy that they were doing with it, and you know. Um, paired up with Congo Kong and there was a period of time I don't think they knew what they were doing and many of us were asking for okay what's the next step in the Laurel character because even even in the dress like they could have put her in the ring in a, in a more competitive fashion and uh, right now she's I would imagine taking this gimmick to the indies which kind of sucks um the way she looks right now where she just has the smeared makeup and all that but is out there competing like and she's still you know Still uh, kind of got that drunken character. Uh, the hot mess character was really cool. And it, it really it really grew into something that was fun to watch. And she's really one of the best female wrestlers in the world. And we didn't really get to see that a whole lot in Impact. And um, I don't got too much negative to say about her. Because she still promotes the company. Uh, the episodes that she's on. She's not like, you know, EC3 or something. Well, I guess EC3's uh, made some mentions. But she she's the one um, departure in quite some time that's actually um, because she's on TV still still really pushing the product. So I think she kind of went out in a classier way than a lot of others did. But at the same time, she was a knockouts champion and then asked for her release, really devalued the title that Gail Kim made so special and then many other knockouts champions before her. But we don't know. Um, we don't know everything. Ali has uh, really been Picking up some steam lately when the new management came in, when Jarrett came in. It didn't seem like he was super high on Allie. And she was off TV for a little while. And, you know, speaking of slow burn, talking about Laurel Van Ness's slow burn. Allie was a very slow burn character with a very, um, very organic baby face build. Because remember, she came into the company as a heel. And she was screaming at the top of her lungs all the time. And she was annoying. And she, she was doing her thing as a heel. And a lot of people wanted her to be the cherry bomb character. Um, that wasn't going to happen. And now she's finally getting to a place. It's been a couple of years now, but she's starting. To, she's starting to get into a place now where she's still got some of that that goofy charm, but she's uh, being taken a lot more seriously. And so we're finally seeing the growth that we've wanted. And I've often said they have to. They have to keep a certain a certain aspect of her of what brought her to the dance, and then. Um, show some growth as well and they've done a really good job with that the last two episodes I didn't really understand the whole wedding thing I was I think I was more entertained by KM than anything but I didn't get the whole thing where Laura was trying to drag her out I, I liked the secret admirer one I thought that worked out well that Laura was trying to outsmart her and you know Allie took her out and then and then kind of the old airhead Allie at the very end she walked up and kicked kick the uh, box that Laurel was in but this time around I didn't really get it I didn't really understand why she was like trying to draw her out there especially when she was by herself it wasn't like she had a, a crew of knockouts with her you know something like Maria would have done because she always had Laurel and Sienna with her so I, I really didn't get that I didn't understand the segment at all and I think they did kind of a poor job with that but they didn't they've done a good build with this this little feud, I would have much rather have seen Rosemary win the tournament. I know, actually, you know, I'm I'm good with Laura winning the tournament. I wish Lo Rosemary would be the one to take the title off her right now, 
But obviously they can't do that because of the program with Taya Valkyrie. But I would have liked to see Ali win it and then take on Ali in a live pay-per-view like Redemption or Slammiversary and really build up to it. Because that could have been a very, very special build. Wouldn't have been a feud. It would have been more like a friendly feud. But that could have been really killer. So I don't know what we're getting for the knockouts at Redemption. Uh, I have a feeling they're probably going to force... It forced that match on us a little bit. I guess I'll get into that later when it happens. And we know who our opponent is. But hopefully this is going to be a good match. Hopefully this is going to be one of the matches where even though I think the Alley wrestling character has shown a lot of growth in the ring lately. Hopefully this is the one where she lets loose a little bit more. Laurel's starting to let loose as well. So hopefully it's a good knockouts match reminiscent of you know the days of the knockouts that we, we really missed. I don't think it's going to be one of the top matches on the card. I think there's just a couple other matches that are just so good. But this has the potential to be very entertaining. I just wish it was um, happening at a live show. And if I had to pick a winner, I think it's going to be Ali. I think Ali's winning the Knockouts Championship. And I think they're going to write Laurel off TV. I had uh, I'd kind of reported back in December that Laurel was going to drop the title at this um at this set of tapings that they were going to grant her release and people were calling me fake news and everything <laughs> like I wouldn't say it if I didn't feel pretty good about it and that's exactly what I think is going to happen here I think Laurel's going to drop it uh right here I think Allie's going to become the champion I just would have rather seen Allie defeat Rosemary to live show and have balloons and streamers or what have you um the knockouts come from the back and do the in-ring celebration like in, in, a, in a live match. But we're getting it like this. I feel pretty confident that Ali's going to win this thing. Should be a fine match. Um, probably will be the worst match of the on the card, I think, wrestling-wise. And it's not um, not because of the women or whatever. I just, I just don't have a real strong feeling about this one. I have a feeling like it might be quick. I don't really know. But yeah, that's what I got. Ali, and um, tomorrow I'll be talking the main event. Thanks for listening. Talk to you soon. Peace.